out of, south, out of sight of land. I just left Whitesville Beach. Forecast was for pretty bad weather, but it's pretty good. It's, uh, must be running about 10 knots, I guess. I'm trudging along here at, let's see, what's it say? 5.3 knots. I'm sailing off Cape Hatteras at the moment. And I'm motoring because I don't like the looks of those clouds over there. I'm trying to keep, keep out of their way. I'm going straight into the wind. Well, today is a surprise. I was expecting no wind, and any wind that I got would have been out of the um, out of the north, right where I'm headed. But it turned out to be more wind, and I'm just—it's an uphill beat, but it's a good combination. I'm getting six knots, six and a half knots out of it. You notice I've got my uh, mainsail with uh, one reef in it. I've got an actual rip back there which I got on my first day out. This is what 8.3 knots looks like. Not too bad. Beautiful day. Absolutely gorgeous. I've taken the opportunity to cook up something to eat which is not often. I'm cooking some some wild rice, Uncle Ben's ready rice, and I've got an onion and a choco in there that's, uh, that's going to be my dinner for tonight. And plus I'm boiling some water too to put in some thermoses. I've got a couple of thermoses over there for my coffee in the morning. I wanted to show you my chart plotter and read out, just in case you can't read it, it's 5.8 knots is my speed over ground and the average speed is 5 knots for a distance of 120 miles. This means for the last 24 hours I've done an average of 5 knots or 120 miles. But it's significant in that if you look out here, you'll see that the sun is just going down. So been the end of a beautiful, beautiful day. Well, last night turned into a pretty ugly affair. It, the winds got up, as you can see out there, lots of white horses. And uh, I ended up by ripping my mainsail yet again. So now I'm down to two reefs. My trip up to Rhode Island has turned out to be a pretty ugly one weather-wise. It was like this all night long. And I'm only making a two-knot progress towards my goal of Rhode Island, which is 25 miles, well actually Block Island, which is just before I get to Rhode Island. It's 25 miles in that direction, which is where I'm headed. Newport, Rhode Island. 